sisters, I'll move on to introduce the first speaker, which is Lynn Henderson, the PCS Scottish Secretary. Lynn. Thanks, Derek. And welcome to George Square, everybody. And welcome to the PCS dispute. Thank you very much for giving up your lunchtime to come along and take part in our rally. It's absolutely significant that we're meeting in George Square today, a place of major significance to the Labour movement back in the days of 100 years ago with the Red Clyde Ciders and the Glasgow Rent Strikes. And in my generation, I was here in George Square for the miners, I was here in George Square for the ambulance workers, and I was here in George Square in the rain with Nelson Mandela to celebrate his release. And we are here today to build for the alternative to the austerity measures and to begin the public sector fight back, and that's exactly what we're going to do. I want to mention the effect of our strike around Scotland and just give you some snippets and highlights that we've picked up. There was a picket line at Edinburgh Castle this morning. The Aberdeen Airport was affected. In Fast Lane, 40 Marines have been busting from York to cover for the early shift. The Clyde Coast Guards are operating a distress-only service. The Student Awards Agency in Edinburgh is closed. Motherwell Pension Centre, only 25 staff out of 500 were in the office today. In Bathgate, local MSPs joined the picket line. In Fife, the DWP saw a strike that was bigger than ever before. In, Pe in the Fort Perth, the Forestry Commission office was closed. And in Glasgow, Brid Brigton Job Centre, 85% of staff out on strike. Over 90% in the Disability Benefits Centre and in Aberdeen Review and Customs, 98% of staff out on strike and 94% in Inverness. In Dundee, 100% staff out of the TVLA. <laughs> in East Kilclyde, HMRC, one of our biggest places, almost 100% of PCS members on strike. The best action we've ever seen there. <laughs> and here in Glasgow, our picket lines were serviced, breakfast by Unite members and others who brought a busload of food around our picket lines and we thank you for that. In the Scottish Parliament, Tory leader Annabel Goldie was seen crossing the picket line. Along with another, a number of other MSPs I have to add. An excellent turnout in DWP Fourth Valley in Dumbarton. Transport Scotland, up the road there, no members of PCS crossed the picket line. In Northgate, passport service in the DWP, the greatest turnout on a picket line we've ever seen at that site. We had a noisy picket line with drums and megaphones and lots of young people. So, that's just a snippet of what we picked up this morning. Follow us on Twitter, you'll see more of that to come. But I have a message for Scotland's politicians to say that in Wales, Labour and Plaid Cymru have not crossed our picket line at the Welsh Assembly. That hasn't happened here. They have crossed the picket line, they have gone in, even though we have called on them to support us. But there are individuals, and I'll name some of them, Drew Smith, MSP for Glasgow, and Neil Finlay, MSP for Lothians, have both been supportive and have motions down in the Scottish Parliament, urge your MSP to sign that. Deputy Presiding Officer Elaine Smith was on our picket line this morning, and Christine Graham, MSP for the SNP, came out and gave us bacon rolls. We've had messages of support from Katie Clark, MSP, who's a member of our parliamentary group out in Westminster. And I have a special message for John Swinney, for what he said in the Herald this morning. John, we welcome your support and your opposition to the UK pensions robbery. What we do not welcome is your attack on our members going out on strike. We have more power than you in Scotland. We have the right to withdraw our labour. You have no power over our pensions. But i tell you what you could do. What you can do, the Scottish Government, could end the pay freeze now and put that money into the pockets of public sector workers and stop telling us to call off our strike. Enjoy your day. We've got a great lineup of speakers and enjoy the rest of the afternoon for those of you that are on strike. Yeah.